Plastering is a crucial step in any construction as it provides a smooth and even finish to the walls and ceilings. To calculate the quantity of cement and sand required for plastering, you will need to know the area of the wall or ceiling that needs to be plastered and the thickness of plaster layer. You will also need to decide on the ratio of cement to sand that you want to use. For wall plaster, the common ratio is 1 is to 6, which means that for every one part of cement, you will need 6 parts of sand. For roof plaster, the common ratio is 1 is to 4. The thickness of plaster lies somewhere between 12 mm to 15 mm. Let's take an example of a 100 square meter roof area that need to be plastered with a thickness of 12 mm. The ratio of cement to sand is assumed to be 1 is to 4. Once you have this information, you can use these following steps to calculate the quantity of cement and sand required. Now we know ratio of cement to sand is 1 is to 4. Total ratio will be equal to ratio of cement that is 1 plus ratio of sand that is 4. Thickness of plaster is 12 mm or we can say 0.012 meter. Total volume of plaster will be equal to area of roof into thickness of plaster. Area of roof is 100 square meter and thickness of plaster is 0.012. The total will be 1.2 cubic meter. To account for the fact that the plaster mix will reduce its volume due to the addition of water during the mixing process, hence you will need to multiply the total volume by a factor of 1.35 to get the dry volume. That is, the true volume of material needed to cast 1.2 meter cube of wet volume of plaster. Hence, dry volume of plaster will be equal to wet volume into 1.35. Wet volume is 1.2 and the total will be 1.62 cubic meter. Before proceeding further, let me ask you a question. What if I give you a drawing and ask you to do the complete estimation of an entire project? If you don't know the answer and if you don't know how the complete estimation of a building has to be done and how the bar bending schedule of a project is done, then I am giving you an opportunity to learn all these things in a single combo course by the name Advanced Quantity Surveying and Bar Bending Schedule. In this entire course, you can learn things right from excavation quantity, PCC, footings, columns, beams, brickwork, block work. Each and everything will be covered both manually and through Excel sheets. In addition to that, you will learn bar bending schedule of all the structural members including footings, beams, columns, slabs, etc. Once you learn all these things, you will be in a position to do the complete estimation of a building. So hurry up and check out this combo course with the link given in the description box of this video. Now coming to the main topic. To calculate the volume of cement needed, you will need to use the following formula. Volume of cement will be equal to ratio of cement upon total ratio into dry volume. In our example, if the ratio of cement to sand is 1 is to 4, the total ratio would be 1 plus 4, that is 5. Using these values in the given equation, we get volume of cement equal to 1 upon 5 into 1.62 and the total will be 0.324 meter cube. To calculate the volume of sand needed, you can use the following formula that is volume of sand equal to ratio of sand upon total ratio into dry volume. Ratio of sand is 4 and dry volume is already calculated as 1.62 and the total will be 1.296 meter cube. Finally, to calculate the required number of cement bags, divide the volume of cement by the volume of one bag of cement. As we know, cement bags are usually sold in 50 kg bags and the volume of each bag is 0.035 meter cube. Hence, the number of cement bags will be equal to volume of cement upon volume of one bag. Volume of cement is already calculated as 0.324 and volume of one bag is 0.035 and the total will be 9.25 bags. So, in our example, we would need 9.25 bags of cement rounded up to 10 bags. This was all about this lecture. Thank you.